So I have finished the story for Borderlands 3. I did a review of like Borderlands 3 so far, which was like half of what I did for Borderlands 3. And most of it was good. I think the story was the only negative that I did say. And unfortunately, I can't say that it got better. If anything, it got a little worse. So I think the end game's fine. I will do a specific review for the end game later, considering I haven't done true vault hum, hunter, a little true vault hunter mode yet. But I have started farming for legendaries. I started doing all this other shit, especially the proven grounds. Oh my god, the proven grounds. Jesus. Okay. So story-wise, oh my god. So they killed off Maya in the last one. Obviously, spoilers. Come on, I'm talking about end game and story shit. So obviously, spoilers. But killed off Maya for this insignificant child called Ava so whatever her name is fuck her and they killed off a Ava, uh, they killed, killed off Maya best girl best girl in the game killed her off and then I'm not even gonna like fluff it up like at the end literally when I'm when I'm about to kill uh, the last chick I forget her name she I kill her and I'm like all right cool Lilith got her power. Dope. I'm, ha I'm happy. She should have gotten her powers. Ava got Ma Maya's powers because obviously that's how that works. Because uh, logic, if you guys didn't know, you you guys are dumb because reason. I, I didn't fuck. I, what? That makes no sense. Uh, whatever. Whatever. I don't want to talk about that part. The part I want to talk about is the fact that Lilith sacrificed herself to save the world. And all, all my head is going through was, so you're telling me we lost Maya and Lilith all within like one game and all we have to show for is Ava becomes a siren. Tannis being a siren did not surprise me considering we've most of the community has been literally saying she has to be a siren. She for sure is a siren. There's been fucking oh my god dog. The fact like I know that Gearbox was like on their big dick like oh man stroking their big cock saying oh, Tannis is gonna be a fucking siren and people are gonna lose their shit and literally the moment she did the same shit that Lilith did and said, try to show like, oh no, don't worry. I'm contacting you through some new device. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. You think I'm that dumb? No, you, you're a siren, obviously. Don't even come at me with that shit. And then it's like, oh look, I'm a siren. I'm like, obviously I knew this. What the fuck, who the? Don't insult me like, <sighs> bro. So they not only managed to piss me off because they killed off Maya and Lilith and they tried to insult my intelligence by saying, oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not a siren because this is not really what I'm doing. I'm, I'm contacting you through a device. Okay, then how are you charging these fucking iridi- are, are the, the keys, huh? Huh, bitch? Explain to me this. So, not only are they in insulting me, think, telling me like, oh yeah, no, this is not- no. I'm so conflicted with this game because it has brought one of my most favorite characters to play as, which is obviously Flack. This game should have been called Flack 3 because Flack is amazing. Seriously though, all the characters are dope. Like all of them have great builds, but Flack for me is just the most fun. And there's just so many things that feel very insulting or feel just kind of cut or feel just this and that at the end of the at the end of the day if this game did not have the best loot in any looter shooter any's kind of much in most looter shooters I, I probably wouldn't be playing it right now like honestly me and my friends we we killed like what almost 10 hours yesterday farming Tyreen like the last boss 
over and over and over, which is probably what you guys are watching right now, because I'm going to put that up. And sure, and I'm playing it on Mayhem 3, and sure, it's really annoying. But it's just fun when you kill the boss, see the loot drop, be like, all right, cool, maybe I can use this, get it, and then, like, ask your friends, because I'm playing on the, you. everyone gets their own stuff, so I'm getting, like, my own stuff, and then my friends are getting their own legendaries. We're all getting, like, in total, uh, like, come shared with all of us, we're getting, like, almost 10 legendaries, which is the equivalent, equivalent of 10 exotics that could be shared in Destiny. Do you know how mind-boggling that is to a player that has been playing Destiny for a while? The fact that you can share legendaries, which is equivalent to exotics, and be like, oh yeah, here you go. Oh yeah, here you go. That's mind boggling, bro. Now, I'm not totally new to Borderlands 3. I I grew up playing Borderlands 1. I grew up playing Borderlands 2. If you guys haven't don't know, go watch my first video. It'll tell you what I grew up playing first. Borderlands 2 especially, I just didn't play it as much. So, go, coming back this hard on a Borderlands, and seeing just legendaries drop like just like they're nothing and it's crazy too because like i know most people from the destiny 2 community will always like say well if we got more legendaries or if we got more exotics then it would devalue them and like this game just shows you like it, it, they don't though if anything like the high-end people from destiny 2 like astacross and other people that do that like those type of things when you have a loot grind, when you have a grind, it becomes very narrow. Like, let's say I want, like, okay, let's let's do it an example. I want for my flak, I want a Rowan's call. I want a fire Rowan's call because most of the time I'm shooting a lot of humans, and humans are good against are are weak against fire. So a good Rowan's call with fire, and I would like to get a few parts with it to make it a little bit better. So not only have I uh, narrowed down which gun I want, but I've narrowed down which build I want, which burn I want, and which parts I want. All from just one legendary. Not only that, but I have other things too. I have three weapon slots left, and I have a relic slot, a class slot, a grenade slot, and a shield slot which can all tie into my build that's the beauty of this game is that fact that i can become more of a killing machine than i already am the fact that i can hone my killing intent to the point where this character can one shot few bosses and even then i want to make him more powerful because there's a perk in the guardian spec if i remember correctly that if you do over damage let's like as in when you kill an enemy and there's still damage left from that that damage is then introduced into your next shot which means i can over damage more do you know how fucking wild that is compare that to destiny you know what no don't even do that because that's another video that i'm gonna make later but the fun aspect of this game has been preserved it's so much fun oh my god mayhem mode is annoying and awesome at the same time and i fucking hate it it's awesome because it's like makes you think oh shit i can't use this gun anymore well i can either just try to do it or i can just switch to another gun it also makes just talking to your friends about okay this is what we're gonna do because this gun's useless now oh, okay that's cool the fact that like we had that was just so cool it's it was so cool As, especially since we were four if four people the fact that it was four people not three also was awesome but like the fact that we were all there with our broken ass fucking characters and we were still getting our asses stomped it was it was amazing i can tell you that yes the story fucking sucks but at the end of the day the game is a lot of fun and I'm going to be coming back because it's a lot of fun. I might not do legendary reviews as I was doing before. The, like the first one where I explained where to get it and whatnot. Because from what I've noticed, a lot of these guns are either world drops or I just get them from Ty Tyreen. 
I will specifically hint at where one is, but for the meantime, I'm probably just gonna say, I got this from Tyreen. You can get it probably this, this, and this. And that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys later. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. You guys agree with me? Do you guys think the story was amazing? If you do, I really don't wanna hear you or see, know that you exist because honestly, the story was garbage. But if you wanna tell me that and break my heart, comment down below. If you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. Don't forget to follow me on my social media outlets. Links are in the description below, and I will see you guys later.